and blackface, aka POTUS Obama, we gotta continue to put the pressure on, right? Because we have some of our brothers and sisters, some of our elders that are political prisoners. I'm talking about Mumi Abu Jamal. I'm talking about Dr. Matula Shakur. I'm talking about Leonard Peltier. I'm talking about Imam Jamil Alameen, formerly known as H. Rap Brown. What's the call? What's the call? Free them all. We gotta free all political prisoners. So in these next couple days, I'm challenging you all to go online and look at the petitions that are out there to put pressure on the White House to grant clemency to these political prisoners. It's very critical, because we definitely can't expect it under Trump, and truthfully, we probably don't expect it under Obama either, but we're gonna put the pressure up. We're gonna put the pressure up Oakland, and we're gonna turn it outside power to the people. That's right, that's right. So once again, my name is Ross C. Long. I want to say much love and respect to the Anti-Police Terror Project. Make some noise for all the organizers, you know what I mean? Real talk, real talk. Make some noise for yourselves for coming out here in solidarity, you know, to reclaim MLK. It's very critical that we study MLK. I want all my peoples out here today, when you go home, look up the speech MLK Beyond Vietnam. MLK Beyond Vietnam. That speech was given on April 4th, 1967. What happened a year later, April 4th, 1968? Who can tell me? He was assassinated, all right? So the shift that Dr. King was taking was towards revolution, towards people's justice, and the state had to take him out. The same state that now has a, a national holiday for him, you know what I mean? So we gotta expose the contradictions and see what to do. Because Dr. King said this, in that speech, he said, we must rapidly begin the shift from a thing-orientated society to a people-orientated society. When machines and computers, profit motives and property rights are considered more important than people, the giant triplets of racism, materialism, and militarism are incapable of being conquered. A year later, they took out MLK, y'all. It's a war going on right now. We got to know that. It's been happening since the Black Panther Party. So I'm going to do this piece real quick. Matter of fact, the war been happening for 500 years. But this is for Oakland. Make some noise for Oakland right here. This is Panther Town. Do y'all know? No, no, stop that, stop that. We're going to do it next. This town is the birthplace of the Black Panther Party. Where Huey P. Newton first got his spark in. Way back. In October 1966, ain't nothing changed but the date. Just check the politics. Oppression still exists. We resisting these pigs. They an occupying army trying to invade where we live. We raise our fists when we see our comrades. There's a war in these streets. We engage in combat. I wasn't born here, but I helped to raise up generations. 15 years straight, education was liberation. But the state is hated. They send the agents to attempt intimidation. But we not scared easy, see we in the occupation. Decolonized minds, every time I ride a rhyme, free them all is the call. Solidarity we ride, Panther Pride is why we organize this uprise. Justice for our minds, code of culture utilized. Cause Oakland, California is Panther Town. Respect the politics, revolution right now. I said Oakland, California being Panther Town. Best respect the politics, revolution right now. Make some noise. Right on, right on.